I'm Lisa, this is our head guide Bill, Hi. and we're talking fishing, and we're talking about early season fishing, which would be May, so what's the plan? Uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it, you know, we've had a couple of nice days, starting to get a little bit itchy, tying some flies, getting ready. Uh, what we're looking for is ice out. Ice so, out. So, you know, could end be... End of April, very end of April, maybe May 2nd? Yeah, May 2nd, you know, that's probably a safer bet. Uh, traditionally, you're, you're always looking kind of into May, yeah. so... You know, but usually the first week of May, you can probably get out there with some success. And once the, once the ice breaks, the smelt will start running, and the mm -hmm. salmon will follow them up. And then, uh, it really, at that point, it just depends on water temperatures and, and how you know the rivers come up and come down. So right, and you'd like to see a good strong flow of water. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, you know, obviously you don't want to see anything crazy, which we have <laughs> we have certainly had that in the past. But uh, no, yeah, definitely a good runoff, which we've had plenty of snow. Yeah, plenty of snow. So that should be uh, that should be good. And there shouldn't be any problems there. I mean, if everything goes well, we should have a solid two, three, you know, upwards even a month of, of decent salmon fishing. Okay. Uh, and then we're always going to have salmon in the river after that anyway, so. But the, but with the salmon run in the spring, it's a little different. The the bait fish are spawning. Oh, absolutely. Yep, the smelt are spawning. And that's, that's the key thing. That's what really brings the salmon up into the river. Uh, so what happens is right after the ice goes out, the water temperature will come up ever so slightly. The smelt will start to come in, and they'll really only come into the inlets. So they, they don't go too far upstream. They're not very good swimmers, but that's where they have all their gravel, and that's where they spawn. So once the smelt start getting into the inlets, the, the salmon, which you know constantly feed on them anyways, will follow them in there, and then they'll stay in there and they'll feed. As long as the smelt stay there, the mm -hmm. salmon will stay there. And consequently, if we end up getting a, a good flow and the uh, smelt stay up for a while, once the smelt start dissipating and going back and, and dying off pretty much and getting eaten, um, the salmon will stay there as long as we have a good insect population, which mm -hmm. we do, and as long as the water flows stay good and the temperatures stay good, I mean, then the, the salmon will just start feeding just like regular trout would. Like blue winged olives? Blue winged olives, yeah. yeah. And <laughs> the little caddis yeah. nymphs? Caddis nymphs and beadhead pheasant tails, you can't go wrong with that, and our, our, our secret little caddis patterns that we have up here that uh, always seem to be tried and true, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a hoot, you know, when you can catch salmon on a dry fly, I don't care who you are, but that's that's fun. And So yeah. why is it fun? Because they tailwalk? Oh, yeah. yeah, they're just acrobatic, you know, and the water's cold, and they just don't, you know, especially the smaller ones, you know, that, that 12 to 14, 16 inch fish, they just don't know any better. <laughs> you know, so they'll hit your fly, and they'll just, they're gone, they're just taken off. And, and then you always got the opportunity to get some of those bigger fish too, those 20, 22s, 24s up there, and mm. it's just like, it's a hoot. So the bigger fish, they're usually at the beginning of the run? They'll come in generally early, yep. mm -hmm. but if we get a strong flow, they'll, they'll just kind of come in and go and come and go and stuff like that. But yeah, yeah, you'll find them early on. They'll be the first ones generally to come up, get their feed. Uh, but they, they will be there all season long, absolutely. All right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, so what kind of uh, equipment are you going to use? Well, you know, you're always good with just your standard five weight. Uh, nine foot five weight floating lines are, are great if we get a little higher flows you might want to go to a sink tip line or even mm -hmm. a sinking line so you can swing your streamers a little bit better um, but nymphing nymphing is, is fantastic with your floating lines you just have to set your strike indicator the way that we always do but and um, some people like to go down with a really super super light tippet but I really find that you don't have to get much past 4x 5x sometimes right um, well that water is a little tea colored anyways yeah, it's a tannin colored water absolutely so you yeah. don't need the the crazy no thin stuff no no and you know some of those bigger fish i mean they'll they'll certainly especially if you're not an experienced angler uh you know they can mess you up pretty easily <laughs> and that happens a lot which is it's fun for everybody because it's just like oh what just happened <laughs> so, <laughs> there was a fish on there a second ago but now it's gone <laughs> well, but that's just fun you know it's a good time and there are some people that go out and they will fish 6x but um and they'll be the first ones to admit that they end up losing a lot of fish <laughs> Yeah. Well, you can use the 6X later in the summer season when, for the salmon that stay in the river. They're a little bit smaller. It's not during a run. but Oh, absolutely. Yep. Yeah. 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 That's but even great. those fish still. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, they'll still go ballistic and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah they'll mess up your riggings pretty well, especially if you're using the double nymph rig. It all just gets all haywired. And it's like, oh, that's what salmon do. All right. For right after ice out, Mother's Day weekend's a good time. Oh, yeah. Um, and for the next two weeks thereafter, and just before, usually dies off about... Memorial Day, but then the trout fishing is good, so. Right, yeah, so yeah, as long as everything goes smoothly, which it generally always does, 
Uh, right. We just go from one to the next, and we just kind of progress right through. And then you get the end of the season when the salmon come back. That's right. So. Well, we'll do that in another episode. Okay. All right. <laughs> That's great. Thank you.